Hello, I'm Dr. Fritz Sutter. Today we're going to talk about lactose intolerance, which is a serious and sometimes silent problem for many individuals. Let's discuss why and what you can do about it. Lactose is a sugar that occurs naturally in cow's milk and other dairy products. Approximately 70% of the world's adult population is lactose intolerant. Lactase is the enzyme that allows us to digest lactose sugar. Lactase levels start to decline naturally in the small intestine of all mammals after they are weaned. Some humans retain the ability to produce lactase throughout their lives, but most do not. Therefore, when an adult eats foods that contain lactose, it is not unusual for them to experience abdominal bloating, pain, fullness, cramps, noisy digestion, flatulence or gas, loose stools, and sometimes diarrhea. Symptoms will vary from individual to individual, but depending on a variety of factors, these symptoms are at least uncomfortable. Many medical experts now believe cow dairy to be one of the more inflammatory food sources in our diet and that dairy intake may also contribute to insulin imbalances and sugar swings. Lactose intolerance has also been found in several peer-reviewed studies in medical journals to be associated with increase in the need for oral thyroid hormone supplementations in patients with low thyroid conditions. Patients with Hashimoto's thyroiditis or inflammation of the thyroid were found in one study to experience an improvement in their condition when lactose in their diet was restricted. One treatment, of course, of lactose intolerance would be and involve reducing the amount of lactose consumed and taking a lactase supplement every time lactose-containing foods are consumed. However, given its association with this inflammation that we're concerned with and the root of most chronic medical conditions today, complete elimination of cow dairy for a few weeks as a trial can be very revealing to the patient and can eliminate many chronic symptoms such as the bloating, reflux, constipation, irritable bowel syndrome, and sinus congestion to name a few. Therefore, complete elimination of the diet from the diet is usually recommended for optimal health. Thanks for listening.